hi guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to a channel of an admitted attorney <laughs> Uh, on the 24th, before two judges in open court at Peter Maritzburg around 10 a.m., <laughs> the court made the following order that one, the applicant, Asanda Shalontini, is hereby admitted to practice and authorized to be enrolled as a legal practitioner in the High Court and deleted South Africa as in, on the order, and that the applicant be granted such an order, and it didn't need an alternative relief, they just granted such an order. And yes, just like that, all of these years have been worth it. All of these years are now all over. I'm not, I'm not naked, you guys. I'm wearing uh, sports bra because I'm going out. And uh, I just wanted to be dressed like this. <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll insert a photo of my outfit. I'm wearing a sports bra, shorts, and my tackies. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. So, that order was granted. I've never been so nervous in my life. I was nervous when I was going to do my very first court appearance. But I was more nervous that day because, first of all, some orders are not granted and I knew that my papers were in order. I knew that um, everything was just in order, but you just never know. You're like, oh my gosh, what if things don't go right? And sometimes people don't get admitted on the day. So I was never even sharing the date with certain people. And I still feel and I still believe that there are certain people that have energies that you don't want around things that are sacred to you and it's never wise well in my books it's i, I it's never wise to share sacred things to you with people whose with people whose energy you do not trust to even share those moments with people that you do not trust uh, i was very specific with the people that i'd share the news with i was also very specific with the people that I invited to everything that had to do with with my whole admission and I'm glad I made that decision because I could have invited Umtuali Mewonga to come and celebrate the day and say let's come and celebrate I'll be I will be getting admitted but I invited people that I liked people that cared about the journey that to place people that had an impact in the journey, not just people that were vibes. And I was very clear even to mom that please invite these people only because those are people that were important to the journey. It's a different story if it, it's maybe, uh, I don't know, being, being so in as an as a judge would be a different story. I'd invite everyone. Even even mom said, my other mom said, she would even hire a boss if that could happen if she gets sworn in as a judge. It's a different story. Then this for me, it was such an important day to me. It was such a sacred day for me that before an open court, I take an oath, I become an attorney of high court and all of the tears, all of the anxiety, all of the things that I went through. I went through so many things to obtain the degree, to get through articles, to get the boards. It was all worth it in the end. The sacrifices that I had to make throughout the years to sacrifice sleep, to sacrifice certain relationships, to even sacrifice some of the things you loved was all worth it. I looked back and I, I remember therapy. I was in third year and I wanted to just quit the degree because it was too much. I was going through a trial in court. 
in, in a sexual offense in court, going through that, and I was like, what happens if I give up now? That's the question I ask myself. With, with everything that has, that has brought me here, I was like, what happens if I give up now? And my, my therapist thought the truth would be, what would happen is that if you give up now, you do register, you're not going to get your degree. So that's the reality. Would, would you accept that as something that you want? Would you see that as a win over any other thing? I was like, that's actually not a win. What would be a win is completing this degree. What would be a win would be practicing in law. That's what I told her. And that's what I did. <laughs> Three years later, that's what I did. I can't believe that I did it. Not even three, four years later, I actually did that. And it's safe to say that I'm overwhelmed. The reason why I've delayed in actually even uploading this video is because you all know the, the cast. <laughs> I've been overwhelmed by the fact that this has been such a journey and I don't know what, what to expect going forward. And with not knowing what to expect going forward, I also feel as if I'm an imposter in all of it. I still feel that way. Like, you know when you, when you achieve something like when things and ideas are like you are not worthy of it and you're like i actually did it <laughs> i actually did it and what i think uh, this is a message to myself to appreciate the journey it has just started it's only been now nine days post admission i haven't even gotten my certificate yet so it only just started and it only starts to change now. The journey to becoming all that I've ever dreamed of starts now and all of it matters. The job as a legal advisor, as an in-house advisor matters. The job as a, as a legal consultant matters. The job as a candidate attorney, most importantly, matters more than anything. Like, if there's anything I could tell you right now as you are completing your degree is secure articles, do your articles. Do them as, if it's possible, do them as soon as you finish your degree. Don't think about the salary. I always say, I always say this, and I've always shared this, but he, what matters, yes, it is overwhelming, especially when you see other candidate attorneys lives moving and you're like i can't afford that you like it feels overwhelming it feels tiring but you like you need to you need you, you need to enjoy and, and take on and take on it because you can't be admitted without the articles you can't be admitted without the support of a principal who's willing to sign your papers, who's willing to assist you, who's willing to teach you, who's willing to even congratulate you, who's willing to be by you through your two years journey. If you can't afford yourself to, to, to say, I'll sacrifice two years of just after my degree to get what I want, because People, well, I'm one of the people that didn't understand Guti. What happens after getting the degree? I was like, uh, I'll just go and be an advisor because I still had the trauma of court, especially I didn't want to do anything with court. And it took me taking one full year because I've been out of practice for one year and a month and a few days because I finished articles on oh actually it's less than one year one month over finished articles on the 10th of February 2022 and I started my in-house role on the 11th thereafter obviously was hired to be a in to be in legal insurance and consult with clients also a, a legal advisory role 
not practicing law because not practicing law until now and it took this one full year for me to say actually what i like is practicing law what i like is being in court and seeing justice happen before me being part of the people that influence change because when you are in practice the only way to influence change is to mitigate and that's what i want to be i want to be one of the best litigants that the country has and that's what i i i i, I want to pursue from onwards not yet i still don't have a job i still haven't started a practice if need be i'm still deciding <laughs> So many things. I'm still overwhelmed by so many things. I'm like, do I want a job? Do I want to start practice? What do I want? All I know is that I want to be a litigant. Everything else will fall into place. That's what I want from my whole admission. And it takes you getting both, I think. So I would also advise that if you are unsure at the end of your articles, take some time and do something different than the practice of law and then you'll realize maybe if that's what you want or that's what you don't want with that said uh i don't know this is all over the place but yeah four years legal degree bachelor of laws two years practical vocational training four board ex competency based examination board exams like being fancy one application in court oh and compulsory how many days was that course 33 or 23 compulsory training of about five weeks yeah it was about five weeks it was two and three uh that's compulsory please make sure that the moment that you register your articles you also look into registering for that the plt because it could stop you from getting admitted for some uh, for some time and yeah they also today delivering the certificates so that's why my admission did not happen immediately after receiving results in september i had to wait uh, until i don't know when <laughs> until december so it takes time to even receive it and yeah all of that and a and a, an application granted in court the application you do the you do the papers my papers if I didn't make any mistakes, my papers would have been like 49 pages long. Uh, you do that application. Most people do it themselves. You can't expect your principal to do it. All that you need is for them to check it and ag agree that they're going to sign it. And if you have a great relationship, they obviously agree. If you'll be beefing with your principals, hey, you, you don't you don't uh they, they don't agree to sign your papers they even some even write to the pl what, what's the name of our council to the council and say this person should not be admitted because of this and this and that and i will say this again and i will continue to say this in this profession you will not go anywhere without relationships you need to have to 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 form good relationships with people forward in the profession people who are seniors in the profession people within your circle and people that are maybe not even attorneys but maybe registrars all of those people you need to form a solid relationship with those people because they will help you in your journey that is what remains my take uh, my my take from all of this journey of about three years you need to have relationships. If I didn't have relationships with all of those people, I would have struggled. I would have struggled. And if you want to, to, to struggle in the profession, be a mean person, don't be nice to people, think that you are above everyone and you're never going to get far with anything, not just the legal profession, with anything else. No man is an island. And yeah, with that said, thank you so much for all the support. And yes, it is indeed an end of the era of becoming an attorney. We are now going to start an era of becoming a practicing attorney. But obviously, I'll still do series of videos about becoming an attorney because I think that's what 
is more impactful not pe people that are practicing law don't usually watch these videos people that watch are people that are still in varsity people that are doing their articles and yeah thank you for the for the support and yes thank you and yes i am an admitted attorney of high court that's me illegal practitioner babes <laughs> thank you for watching i will see you on my next video